I have to tell you a story. It's a great story, and it's possibly my favourite story. I intentionally bought something bad off of Facebook for a video, and I got scammed whilst doing it! This is the story of the Body Shaper Waist Clincher Corset. <laughs> that whilst I said this was a great story and that it was my favourite story, the story hasn't even really begun yet. This is chapter one of this horrific tale. About three weeks ago, a friend sent me a video on Facebook. It was a video advertising one of those, you know, waist clincher, body fat removing vest things. But the video was so bad that it basically went viral. I feel like we should watch it together because I haven't watched it in about three weeks. If you want to lose that abdominal fat, make those stomach rolls and that horrible back bulge disappear, then in what parts of your body do you need to sweat? So you sweat more where you should sweat more. Abdomen, waist, back, back bulge. Created with three layer Neotex, you sweat, it absorbs the moisture and evaporates the sweat. You know what, already we need to stop. We need to pause here because there's already quite a few points I could bring up. You don't lose weight from the parts of your body that you sweat from. Otherwise, my forehead and my armpits would be so skinny. Can you have a skinny forehead? I don't know, but I don't. That same amount of wrinkles as a pug, you know what I'm saying? So already, that's bollocks, okay? I can't sugarcoat that. That's true bollocks. Now we've jumped into this three layer thing. I'll hold off on that for just a second, but you'll see why I've picked up on that later on. Use Cami Hot for all your activity. It always stays dry. It's comfortable, practical, you sweat more, and you can't tell. I've gone down two sizes with it. <laughs> I've gone down two sizes with it. <laughs> Designed with extra compression seams. It flattens the abdomen, reduces spare tires, shapes the waist, eliminates back bulge. What is their problem with back bulge? Why do they keep talking about back bulge? Like, I get that that's an insecurity for a lot of people, but this waist clincher is not gonna solve your back bulge. You sweat and shape your figure. And that back bulge that drives us women crazy, it disappeared. Whatever you do, you sweat more. You know, up until this point, when I was watching this for the first time, I was just eye-rolling, you know, I was like, oh, this is so typical, but it was only when I saw the horrifically poor dubbing that I realized that this was definitely the product for me, and then by extension, the product for all of you. This waist clincher saved my life. I really love it. I think it's the best product ever. The free breast system supports and lifts your bust to give you a slimmer figure. I forgot that was in there and I didn't have any witty retort because just the free breast system. Honey, if you're gonna give me a product that gives me free breasts, I'm in. Somehow, like, I don't think this is gonna be a problem for me. It's your bust to give you a slimmer figure. Cammy lifts you from down here, flattens your abdomen, and shapes your waist. Where do you start? The bad cut, the horrid dubbing. This is just, this is gonna be a fantastic product. It's great because you reduce your size, but the main thing is you sweat like crazy and you can't even tell. And that's the end. Um, quite abrupt. So you know, I went ahead and I ordered it. I had to, man. Tag a friend, limited quantity available. I felt the pressure. I, I had to get it. I went on the website, you know, it had a little timer ticking down. Allow two to six weeks delivery due to high demand. I was in. I was sold! This thing was gonna get rid of all of my non-existent back bulge. Uh -huh. It was gonna give me free breasts. So I ordered it, and that was the end of the tale. Until it arrived. Now unfortunately, I can't open it on camera because it came through my letterbox and I didn't know what it was. That's when you know that you're in danger territory, when you don't recognize the package. I was sent this, minus the rip, of course. Um, tiny little flimsy package, all the way from Shanghai, China. It was sent from Miss Wen. Thank you, Miss Wen. Allow me to read out this address to you because I can only assume that it's either a horrid translation or someone collapsed on their keyboard. Miss Wen, Shanghai, Shi Min Hang Ku, Hu King Ping Gong Lu 248 Nong 15 Hao, 4 Hao Ku, Shanghai, China. Isn't a how-ku one of those poems? One of the main reasons that I didn't understand what was coming through my door was because in the description of the content, they've written, 
lingerie. It's so not only is this gonna help me reduce all of my dreaded back bulge, but I can clearly wear this on a fancy night in with a special one. It also says it has a value of two US dollars. I paid $26 for this. Allow me to tell you that everything about this product absolutely stinks, metaphorically and literally. Even the plastic just smells Oh, I feel like we've had enough talk. Allow me to reveal the body shaper waist clincher corset to you. I don't even want this near my face. It smells so bad. Look how small it is. Look how short it is. This is nothing like the product in the video. Where's the little logo? You know, where's the nice little stitching on the inside? This is truly just two bits of like foam stuck together. Oh fuck. It smells, you know that new chemically obnoxious smell? You know the one I mean. It's that times a thousand. This whole room has been smelling of this for a day. But here it is. Here is the uh, body shaper waist clencher and compared to me and my body, Okay, I bought this in medium because I looked at the sizing chart and I was like, okay, I'm usually a small, but apparently a medium sized up. This is tiny. Then again, it's gotta go around my waist. So who knows if I'm gonna sweat. That triple layer thing has to be bollocks. I refuse to believe that there are three layers in here. And I think at the end of the week, we're gonna cut this up and we're gonna find out. So I guess without further ado, I have a new outfit to try on. Oh boy, I can't wait to see how much I sweat in this thing. See, now that I'm holding out to my body, I don't, maybe it will be quite tight. I don't, I don't know. Maybe all of that criticism was unwarranted. Okay, it's already quite warm. Ooh, that's a concern. Free my breasts, damn it. Yeah! Well, I certainly do not look like uh, the sexy models, do I? Day one, and I have to go to London. Everyone's favorite place, the freak is returning. Well, would you look at that? It's Emma from the future. And hot damn do I look good today, damn. I decided to set this vest three tests. Test one, go to a hot, busy environment such as London. Test number two, exercise, which is something I never do. And test number three, adrenaline. Basically, I got a tattoo whilst wearing it, so I'm calling it an adrenaline test. So let's focus on day one. Day one was by far the hardest because as soon as I started getting ready to go to London, I started to feel a little bit uncomfortable wearing this thing. This thing is, I don't know, it's, it's kind of tight, but it's also not tight. I don't, I can't see it doing anything, if I'm honest. As for heat right now, I feel warm. I don't feel sweaty or hot, though of course that may change with walking around and going to London. How am I gonna survive the underground? I don't know. That paired with the jeans noise would be incredible. Don't believe infomercials, kids. It's never worth it. So after all of that pointless waffling, I ran to catch my train to London with literally seconds to spare. I just made my train with about 30 seconds to spare. And I did have to run, but I'm not feeling any sweat. Um, but I wouldn't, would I? Because I wouldn't be able to tell. But yeah, um, no changes yet, but um, I'm not worried. I'm not sweating it. It definitely keeps all of your abdominal heat in, whereas like all of that heat would usually evaporate through your shirt. My tummy feels really warm and like I didn't eat anything spicy for lunch because usually that would keep my tummy warm and make me feel gross but I feel gross without eating anything horrible so that's not good. I'm not enjoying it so far. I don't feel good. I feel like I'm in a plastic bag but it's not plastic. It's the jeans all over again. I will say though, given the choice between these and the plastic pants, like at least the plastic pants were so funny that they were getting so many looks that it kind of made it bearable. You know, like I was laughing all day, I was smiling all day, but because no one can see this, I'm the only one suffering here. Um, so I actually prefer the plastic pants. Now the London Underground was where things started to get a little bit too much for me. Just been on a couple of underground trains, did a little interview, say hi manager Mark. <laughs> Um, and I feel awful. Like, I'm starting to feel really, like, I feel like I'm overheating. Um, I'm still not sweating loads, but I'm definitely moist, which is not a good feeling. And then I headed into Camden to film some stuff for MTV under some really hot studio lights. It was, it was just, it was a great time. It was, it was a great, 
great time. It's mm. like it's one of these like foam kind of, oh, no. you know. It's and nice. it's it's got it's sticking to me now. It wasn't mm -hmm. when I first put it on. Now it's sticking. Mm -hmm. It's not a good feeling. It's sticking to me, Mark. Bad times. It's it's like I do. Hang on. There is like a proper layer of sweat now. Oh look, all these guys. <laughs> you guys have known me for like ten minutes, maybe, and I'm already talking about my sweat. It's all for my art. I suffer for my art. Okay. <laughs> This was necessary, apparently. I'm starting to feel a bit ill, to be honest, and I don't think it's the food. It's just, I'm really hot, and not in a good way. You know, I'm just constantly, I can feel this layer of moisture, and it's getting cold, but I feel hot. It just makes you feel feverish, and it puts you off the food, and I'm not in a good place. It just feels really constricting, and sweaty, and gross. I'm not, in, I'm not enjoying myself. But hey, if it gets rid of my back, but... My back bold. After my day in London, I had to catch another underground train to get home. But by this point, it was rush hour, and if you've ever been to London during rush hour, you'll know what I'm trying to say here. Overcrowded, sweaty trains where personal space just isn't a thing. And by the time I got home, I was feeling pretty unwell. I'm starting to feel really shit now. Like, I feel like I'm wearing cling film. Um, I'm about to take this off because I can't, I can't do this for longer than I already have. Um, moisture update, definitely a bit sticky, a bit tacky, but no beads of sweat. All I know is that right now, I feel like I need a shower. Like, I feel like I smell. I can confirm that you do get a little bit moist, just not, just not soaking wet, like the uh, commercial would have you believe. As you can see, no beads of sweat, nothing, but just a bit tacky, you know? <laughs> Just like me. So day one, not so good. The vest was definitely damp and disgusting and uncomfortable, but I wasn't sweating buckets. You know, that's what we need. We need some good old Emma Sweat. <laughs> Emma Sweatery, God, just say it. Just, just do it. So I woke up nice and early and I went to the gym. No, I really did. Good morning, everybody. It is Friday. I'm gonna go to the gym for the first time in months, which is bad. But look what I got on. Oh, yeah. The free breasts. Am I right? No. Also, this quality is not as good because I'm taking my phone instead of a camera because I'm not gonna be that guy taking a camera to the gym. Here is some actual real life footage of me doing exercise. The things I do for you. It's. it's I'm a gift. To you. Needless to say, this was when it started to get really quite, quite disgusting. As if it wasn't already disgusting. Now I was bathing in my own sweat. Okay, so I just did about 20 minutes of cardio. Um, I'm feeling pretty sweaty right now, which is good. Um, let's have a look. Well, no, no beads of sweat, but definitely feeling, yeah, definitely feeling wet. My back though, my back is another story. It is like, you. Day three was the adrenaline day. I'm just calling it that because it sounds cool. <laughs> so we are at the tattoo convention. Uh, I have managed to run in and get a tattoo booked for eight o'clock tonight. Gonna get one on my arm. Thought I was gonna get one on my leg today. Um, went for the arm instead. It's a cute little mushroom. But we're gonna see how I feel in terms of like sweat with this horrible thing whilst I'm uh, having a massive adrenaline rush. What's wrong with me? Why am I doing this to myself? That's right with you. Yeah, I know. My hair looks great. You look great. I know, right? <laughs> Okay, so it's nearly eight o'clock. Uh, Lily and I have been walking around town all day. It's we so went kind. to the we went to the beach, laid there. Haven't felt any kind of any kind of discomfort today. It's really? all been good. I'm nothing. So sweaty. I have nothing. You know, what? I've remained cool all day, and I thought I would be sweating buckets today. Yeah. But I'm about to go get my tattoo, so that That's means my body tattoo. that means my body is gonna be filled with adrenaline. So we will see how it holds up and see if I become a bit of a sweaty Betty. I hate that term, isn't that disgusting? Yeah, that is sweaty Betty. <laughs> but would you believe it? Turns out I'm now so used to getting tattoos, I didn't feel any adrenaline at all. My body was just ready and willing to take the needles, to take the sting and the pain, and I didn't really sweat at all. Didn't feel sick, didn't want to pass out like I used to with tattoos, but I do have a sick mushroom on my arm now. Basically, I made this whole video just to show off my tattoo, obviously. Same, bro. I'm gonna call you Dennis. So my overall thoughts on this stupid, what's it called? Waist clincher size 
it's been a couple of weeks. Does it make you sweat more than usual? Absolutely. But so would wearing a sweatshirt in the sunshine. So would going into a sauna. So would wrapping cling film around your waist. I'm pretty sure none of these things cost $26. And also, by the way, I left off the best part of this whole thing. A couple of days after ordering this vest, I tried to buy a train ticket to go to London, and my card was blocked. My bank decided that this was obviously such a pathetic scam that I had been frauded and they blocked my card, leaving me without money. So not only did this thing cause me frustration and illness, and not only did they rip me off of about $24, they also left me without any money for like a week because I'm scared, I'm scared of phone calls and I didn't want to call the fraud people. However, and I know this video is going on a little bit, I did promise you that I was gonna cut this thing up and find out if this thing really does have three layers. Cause I still, I just, I just don't think it does. All oh, right, it still smells. Only now it's not a factory chemical smell, it's a factory chemical smell mixed with my two week old sweat. So life is going good. Time to cut this up and see if they were lying to us. Goodbye, $26. Well, would you look at that? I don't know how well this is gonna focus, so do excuse me. It's it's just foam and then cotton, and that's it. In fact, here is the uh, here's the first layer. Just literally a bit of really thin, elasticated stuff. Then you have this layer, which is just the same, but black. And then uh, just one bit of flimsy foam. Um, this shouldn't be a shock to anybody. So there you go. That's the story of how I got scammed and still went through with it. Basically, the lesson we've learned today is just never trust anybody on the internet trying to sell you something. Oh, by the way, did you know that my new EP, Magnetize, is out now? It has six amazing tracks on it. If you go on my merch store, it also comes in CD form. And go watch the music videos on Emma Blackery Vivo. What's that, I hear you say? I'm not done yet. Oh, damn, Emma. Look at that really nice pop socket you have here. And damn, Emma, look at this really nice zip-up hoodie that you have, even though it's summer and it's way too hot to wear one. Both of these things and more are coming to my online merch store very, very soon. As in, in like, a couple of weeks. So hey, bookmark the page and then buy my stuff. I'm everything I hate. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then you can click over here to watch another one. There's gonna be another Ask Emma on the 6th of June. I'm also revealing my book cover. But until next time, guys, I shall catch you later.